So firing up your RSS feed is um, always a bit dangerous these days, um, especially when you run into Steve Ray's blog. Uh, wondering when he's going to get around to you know, providing some meaningful responses to all the documentation of his errors that we put out there. But all we're going to get from Steve Ray is, oh, those nasty anti-Catholics, they're so tedious, and that's it's just all he's capable of. It's How, how many times do we have to prove the same thing all over again? But what's funny today is he made reference to uh, someone who did a music video. And uh, I don't know, the way he stated it almost sounded like it was a response to someone like myself or some others, though it really isn't. But it, it's sort of cute, it's wrong, it's sort of cute. But what caught me was toward the end, um, the guy who's a good guitar player, very good guitar player, catchy little tune, um, but he's a modalist. He's a heretic when it comes to the Trinity. He says the Father came down via the virgin birth. And I go, um, didn't Steve Ray sort of like um, listen to this? Would he not catch that? Would he not understand that? Maybe not recommend people watch that? Who knows? But hey, as long as it's in the service of Mother Church, who cares if it's heretical? As long as we're serving Rome. So here's uh, here's the, the, the song, and uh, I'll probably break in a couple times make a few comments but thank you Steve for another example didn't need one but thank you very much Some people talking trash about the Catholic Church. Listen to my story, learn from my research. It all got started about 33 AD when Jesus gave the keys to Peter and said, Keep an eye on things for me. Rocky, you're gonna let me down and even fall into sin. But against this church, the gates of hell are never gonna win. They say we don't love the Bible, that's a fallacy. The church did canonize it in the fourth century. So complete and perfect, the Word of God highly esteemed. No one ever even thought to question it before 1517. Well, Luther found some chapters of which he disagreed, and he made himself the editor and went down in history. Catholics don't worship idols, Mary or the saints. We don't fancy necromancy, it's something we do disdain. The Pope don't walk on water, he can't wash our sins away. But when he speaks from the seat of Peter, we listen and obey. To say we worship anyone but Jesus Christ our Lord is a fun fairy tale of which I'm getting bored well, we believe in God the Father the maker of heaven and earth who came down from heaven by the virgin birth Crucified for our sins, died and rose again. He'll judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. One holy Catholic apostolic church, her we do believe. Under the same management since 33 AD.